Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about my new hand guards from SW Motec. In my previous video, I was talking about how I set up on my adventure bike the handlebar and I was also talking with, about the handguard. And yeah, the previous handguard was not perfectly fit on the motorbike and by every crash, every drop, it just bent a little bit. So that's W Motec. Watch my video. Thank you. So they asked me if I would like to try this new handguard they just released. And guess what I said? <laughs> Yeah, I said I will test it. So let's see how it works. Now let's see the unboxing. So let's open the box. Ooh, ooh lot of things here. <laughs> this is the Adventure Handguard shell set. And there is this little box crash pad set for Adventure shells. Okay, this is something crash thing. <laughs> it's perfect for me. I don't know, this is a mysterious black box. And finally, here is this big box. And it says handguard mounting kit. All right, the pack is empty. So I got for the pack the handguard mounting kit protection kind of, the mysterious black box and the adventure handguard shell set. And now let's see what are in the small packs. First open the mysterious pack. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I got a mug. <laughs> what a merchandise. It fits for my T7. Uh, yeah, the perfect color. Thank you so much. Let's see what's in this big box. Yeah, I put it topsy-turvy. In this box we got some useless manual. I bet I can download it from the internet. There are the... Yeah, the bolts. Yes, and here are very nicely packed, as you can see the actual handguard parts. Yeah, in this one... Oh, we have the clamps. Yeah, I'm super curious about these clamps because the other ones um, fit not perfectly on the T7. Yeah, I need only one bolt for this. Yep, here is the other one. Okay, well, let's see what's in the other box. It looks it's opening. Yeah, these are some some special bolts for the end of the handlebar. Mm -hmm. All right. And wow, there's some super strong clamps. This one has weight for sure. Okay, the next box. Mm. This is some ring somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we will see where. And there are more of these rings. Actually, a lot of them and in very different shapes and sizes and they are heavy. Yeah, they are super heavy. I guess they are some kind of weight on the end of the handlebar. Yeah, dampening the vibration. And finally the handguards themselves. Let's see. Yeah, it's a sturdy one. Actually, it looks super nice. Yeah, or a lot of stuff around here. <laughs> Let's continue with this one. Crash pad set for adventure shells. 
Let's open this one. There are the poets. So these ones are these plastic things. I'm sure this is for some corner thing. Yes, and see what's in the last box. And these are the actual hand guards. Yeah. Huh. I like much more black, much more better. I think I will stop right now, unpack everything, and I will see how to mount these things all together. Before mounting it on the motorbike, I figured out I can pre-assemble it. And as you can see, it's pretty much full assembled. So let's see how easy it is to fit this all together. First of all, you need this metal part, <laughs> which is super strong. It doesn't move, not even a bit. You will need this part the plastic one and there is this extra one I bet this is for the adventure set here are the small small guys a lot of them and I guess if you don't buy this little part for the extra enduro or adventure part you can just plug these holes with these plastic things first just grab the handbar and just put it right here. It fits pretty much into the place. This one has a little hole in it and yeah, it just fits here like a charm. There is only one bolt which fits in here. I am not tightening it completely because, you know, <laughs> other parts coming in. And yeah, it's better to tighten all together. Then these little parts come in. As you can see, they are not the same on both sides. So figure out. <laughs> it just goes like this. Because when you put it on the other side, yeah, the hole just doesn't fit right in. After you put it here, you grab these little small boards. Grab a simple Phillips screwdriver and it's in. Let's put the other one in. Yep, they are just right in. Yet again, not 100% uh, tightening. Okay, now the other part here also take attention for the direction. Okay, the bolt. And as you can see, it's pretty much done. Nothing else need to do. Only next comes this end. Here we need the clamp. It's a really nice black and really nice finish on everything. <laughs> Even the washer is uh, coated in black. I like it. Okay, so I still need strong metal thing. Yeah, and everything is packed perfectly. Nothing can be damaged at the transport. So th yeah, this one is <laughs> super thick metal part. So here, this end comes into this and you see there is a edge and here into this hole comes this board. It's also self-explaining because this has a tapered top. So just comes here, the washer, and the nut. Okay, yet again I will just tighten it with my hands a little bit, just not to wobbly too much. And this is the right, right part, yeah this is the right obviously, maybe this, and only one bolt left. Just put it in there, it's done. So this is all together. Only this end left. For this end, we have these three parts. 
and a big bolt, the biggest bolt you can find in the pack. Okay, yet again, this one comes into the OEM handlebar and you just remove the weight and remove, uh, put this one into the handlebar itself. So imagine it's in the handlebar, after it's done, here is this washer <laughs> with this big hole, just put it in like this. And after it's done, it's in the handlebar, put this thing here and this weight, this, this is heavy, this just fits right here. You cannot rotate it because it's, it's in shape and put big bolt in here and this goes all the way in. Yeah, it's supposed to work on your motorbike like this. And yeah, let's jump to the mount. Let's see how it works. As you can see on the T7 here, there are threads in the <laughs> handlebar. So probably this is something special for the T7. But anyway, I got this thread thing and I must just put in it there. Yeah, it runs in nice and easy. Okay, and now I just fix it. Not too hard. Yeah, just, just as you can feel. You must take attention because it's aluminum and it's, yeah, it's soft. Before I mount this clamp here, I just put some Teflon under it because, yeah, it makes a little bit uh, slippery. So now I put on the clamp. On the bottom is the thin one, on the top is the thick one. And just put the bolt in it. Now I put it roughly in the position where I think it will come. Here is the washer. I just put it in here. And now comes the whole handguard. Just bolt it right in here. Just gentle until it can still be rotated but already sits in its place. So when it's done, I just check if they fit. And yes, they fit together very nicely. I use the bolt they provided. Here is the washer. And here is the nut. Everything fit together. Okay, so now the 10 key. And this one. So then fix a little bit this bolt, but still not 100%. And now just checking if the levers are in the right height. And now I just start to pull the bolts one by one until they reach the optimal strength. the crash test is done let's see the results yes there it is the result as you can see there was no harm except these few scratches but hey this terrain let me show you this is <laughs> pretty much hard and rocky and here is where the bike slided and crashed so yeah, it was a pretty nice slide <laughs> and even the handguard and also my old crash bag. <laughs> I call it crash bag because all the time the motorbike just fell on this thing. So this little bag <laughs> survived even this one. So that's it. I hope you liked this video and I hope you liked the handguard. If you're interested, there is a link below where you can order it and buy it. Yeah, that's it for today. <laughs> Hopefully see you next time. Ciao.